perfect. What's good to the tribe? It's Wanagi. Want to stop by and drop this clip off to you guys. But before we start, stop, hit the like button, and I appreciate you guys. I hope everybody's feeling safe, secure, and as healthy as can be. So this clip today is, is a couple years old, and hopefully everybody has seen it. It's dealing with LL Cool J. You already know we're going on genealogy. I know a lot of people have a problem with Gates, which he's definitely not an honorable person. But you can't deny genealogy. You can't deny going ancestor for ancestor. And in this clip, it's going to show you how names change. We all see relatives where their names change a little bit. Are they different? Things like that. But have you seen in your genealogy or do you have relatives that were adopted where their name was changed when they were adopted? It's definitely a key to this too. You'll see ancestors with different surnames and you can't wonder or don't know how they got them. Remember what they used to say? Papa was a rolling stone. There was a lot of ill, legitimate children around here. A lot of dads wasn't claiming what was theirs. I wasn't being real fathers to the ones they were putting out. But I just want you guys to listen and see it. Maybe you missed a couple things or maybe you could pick some things up. Let's get it. Certificate. Notice that there are no parents listed. Mm -hmm. Notice also that it was made out in 1947, mm -hmm. which is over a year after your mother was born. Wow. According to Andrea's birth certificate, her birth record number was 2221. So we searched the New York City birth index again, looking for an entry under the number 2221. And we discovered something that really took us by surprise. We found this entry in the New York City birth index for 1946. Jolly Andra, 119-6, mm -hmm. certificate number 2221. There's that number, 2221, mm -hmm. and 196 is your mother's birth date, mm -hmm. January 19th, 1946. Mm -hmm. That is the actual record of your mother's birth. That's wild. Andra Jolly? Your mother was born Andra Jolly. That is your mother's birth name. Wow. But how did LL Cool J's mom end up being born Andra Jolly? Where did the name Jolly come from? Based on the DNA results, we had determined that Andrea's father was Nathaniel Christie Lewis. So we had every reason to suspect that Andrea's mother must have been a Jolly. To determine her identity, CC scoured the databases again, looking for a match with the ancestral surname Jolly. Ultimately, she was able to solve our mystery. So I wanna cut in right here because everybody always wants to talk about ancestral DNA and how you can just spit in a tube and automatically all your relatives are going to pop up and you're going to know who they are. You need genealogy too. And you'll see right where I stopped it at, you'll see her looking for these records. They're not going off a machine trying to tell them who's who and what's what. They're going through the actual records. They need to be able to see where the name change. And ancestral DNA won't tell you that. And we all know about finding out if you're the father and things like that. We know this type of DNA, but we're talking ancestral. You have millions of relatives. 
it was millions of migrations. And I don't even say millions, but as far as people, migrations around. People moved around. You like to travel now, don't you? A lot of people from down south like to move up north. And a lot of people from up north like to come down south. So just know that Ancestral is not going to give you everything you need to know. Definitely get on your genealogy. Know who your relatives are. Know what they were doing in these times. Let's get it. We had every reason to suspect that Andrea's mother must have been a jolly. To determine her identity, CC scoured the databases again looking for a match with the ancestral surname Jolly. Ultimately, she was able to solve our mystery. LL Cool J's biological grandmother was a woman named Ethel May Jolly. And the fact that your mother has a legal birth certificate under the name Andrea Griffith means that she must have been legally adopted by your grandparents. Probably had a baby out of wedlock and put it up for adoption. So she was legally adopted. Yep. They adopted and changed her name. And they kept Andra, Andrea. They just changed it. They just slightly changed it. Wow. You know, and I can understand why they didn't tell her. They, they didn't want her to feel like she didn't belong. Mm -hmm. They didn't want us to feel like we didn't belong. I don't know if you call me an adoptee or... You're the adoptive grandchild. Just think of all the adoptees who will watch. Yeah, LL Cool J is an adoptee. His mother. Yeah. I mean, his mom's. Yeah. And this doesn't change mm -hmm. how I feel about the people that raised me. I respect Eugene Griffith. I respect Ellen Hightower Griffith. They did so well for us. I have more love and respect for them than I ever did. Ever. So I want to leave the Pan-Africans with this because they always like to generalize and put everybody in a box like we're all the same. It's always this we, we. It ain't no fucking we. Everybody's different. Just like everybody sees the world through their own lenses, everybody doesn't have the same story as you. And you can't make everybody have the same story. What people have to do is go back on their selves and then realize their story is great too, just like everybody else's. But I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, definitely share. If you mess with me, definitely support the channel. Feathers up, tribe up, wise up, rise up. Your great great grandparents weren't slaves, they were free. That's unbelievable. Yo, that's like, like, Unbelievable. They were not picking cotton, man. My ancestors were free. It kind of like explains my mindset to me a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? Because I've never felt inferior or superior, for that matter, mm -hmm. to anyone. Sure. Your great-great-grandparents weren't slaves. They were free. Your great-great-grandparents weren't slaves. They were free. Your great-great-grandparents weren't slaves. They were free. That's unbelievable. Yo, that's like, like unbelievable. They were not picking cotton, man. My ancestors were free. It kind of like explains my mindset to me a little bit, you mm -hmm. know? Because I've never felt inferior or superior for that matter mm -hmm. to anyone. Sure. If you really believe you come from slavery, there's a lot of questions to be had about all of that. Lots of black people don't come from a slave background, but don't know it. We all believe we come from one giant slave.